Hi, everyone. We just got done watching a short video on the artist Ted Harrison, and he loved to paint landscapes. And we're going to be creating landscapes, and we're going to use his style as inspiration. Here's one example that I'll show you in class. And we're going to use chalk pastel, Elmer's glue, and some darker paper to work on. So here's one example of a landscape. And here's another example that I did. But before we can get to this part, we need to practice and talk a bit about landscapes. So in your sketchbook, I'd like you to maybe draw out a rectangle. This is going to represent the paper that you'll work on. And I just want you to draw out uh, some simple landscape ideas. So the first thing is we're going to do a horizon line. And the horizon line goes f across the page like that. And I like to explain the horizon line as the place where the sky and the earth touch. They meet. So now I'm going to worry about the ground or the land in front. So there's one ground here. But in the front here, I'm going to add some foreground hills. And now I'm going to add some mountains in the background. So I'll start with some low mountains. And then I'll come back here and do some larger ones. And maybe some really tall ones here. Now I just have a little space for the sky left. I'm going to put a small sun and then I'm just going to make some lines to be the different colors that I might see in the sky. So you can see that sketching out a landscape is pretty easy. So let's try another. Same thing <clears throat> and this is just a practice and I want to do one that has water in it so I'm going to make the horizon line and then here I'm going to make a piece of land here and I'll just make that go back and I'm going to make another piece come out here and go back and then one other piece here and go back. I know it doesn't look like much right now but I'm going to talk you through it when I'm finished here and back and here and back. So now what this is, this is the water. I'll make some mountains in the background. I'm going to do a sun here and this time I'm going to do this, the lines a little bit differently. Maybe I'm just going to make some lines repeating out to represent all the colors in the sky. So there's a second. When you're done playing and figuring out how you're going to do your landscape, and I'll have some ideas for you as well, you're going to decide on what piece of paper you're going to use. I strongly suggest gray. Now, you can always also use brown, and I'll have black as well. But the next thing you're going to do is you're going to draw that landscape onto your paper. So I'm going to do the one that has water. So I'm going to draw this here. There's my horizon line. And I'm going to make my land line. And of course it's going to end up a little bit different than the sketchbook landscape. And that's okay. Just as long as you have an idea of how you're going to draw this. And now I'm going to do the other side. And I know you're probably thinking, I can't see this, Mrs. Lawrence. Don't worry, um, you're going to be able to see the next step. And then I'll do the mountains and behind. Maybe I'll do two rows of mountains here. And you can see they don't have to be perfect. And then I'm just going to do the small sun and some lines to represent the different colors in the sky that I might see. Now here's the fun part. You're going to need Elmer's glue, but before we get to that, make sure you put your name on the back. 
All right, so my Elmer's glue is open up. So watch when you open an Elmer's glue, it has that white tip. And when you open it, that white tip disappears. Now this part, where you draw with the glue. So I'm going to take it, and I don't want to squeeze too wide of a line. I want to keep my line moving as I put my glue line down. Now some of you might get the hang of this right away and some of you might say, wow, this is a little, a little challenging. I keep squirting out a lot of glue. Um, if that's you, certainly I can help you. Um, but, you know, give it a try. It's just glue. You just try to keep that glue tip moving and you don't want to press really hard. Now, of course we can't use this paper, you know, the first day we make it because uh, it's going to be wet. We need to let this glue dry. And, but when it is dry, we're going to use some chalk pastel. Oops. To add some nice, vibrant color. There, mine's done. So I can't wait to see what you do.